Laura, I love your line. Orgasm is an experience in the body. And it's so true. And it's why body sex is body sex. The first step is getting into the body. What does that mean and how do we do it? And it can be hard to connect to our bodies because we're so much in our heads. We're so busy um, and, and we're not encouraged to be in our body. The first step is really to love your body. And that's mm. that's the beginning part. Um, and, and we've done other talks about that. But, but loving your body is an important step. And I think what's critical to loving your body, which is why we do the workshops in the nude, when we can have shared vulnerability and nudity, group nudity and safe environments, whether it's a nude spa, a nude bathing, when we see others nude, we appreciate our own bodies. It's quite fascinating. <laughs> you know, the women that were the most uh, intimidated by group nudity, when they came to the workshops by day two, they couldn't wait to take their clothes off. It is so liberating because what you see is the beauty in each body type. And when you see the beauty in other bodies, you start seeing the beauty in your own. Feminism. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> so important. Another way that I connect with my body, especially when I've been very busy, is breathing. Um, Betty's breath of fire. Uh, which is that belly breath where you inhale through your nose and you push it out with your stomach. It really connects you to your body. It's energizing and relaxing at the same time. When we take deep, repeated breaths, it causes the body to release the pleasure hormones. Mm -hmm. So we get a hit of oxytocin, endorphins, and dopamine. So it can be a good transition from our stressful lives to like, I'm going to ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get in the body. Yes. Noticing your environment is important too. Um, low lighting, uh, calm music, lighting a candle. And, and all of this is with your personal preference. Um, but our environment changes how we experience our bodies. Slowing ourselves down, doing what we can in the environment to slow down is so important. Exactly. You know, pleasure is doing what feels best in every moment. And it is a hard thing for us to learn as women because we're goal oriented and we're all perfectionists. But when I can slow down and better understand my preferences, breathe, ground, touch my body, even if you're not touching your vulva, but you're just touching your skin, connecting, mm -hmm. massaging your breasts, self massage is quite wonderful. Mm -hmm. We can't always wait for a partner and we can't always wait, you know, wait for a professional. And I loved at the retreat and you quarterback this, Laura, when they did vulva massage, looking in a mirror at themselves. Yes. It's so powerful. Mm -hmm. Making that visual connection with feeling pleasure and looking at your body. Uh, you can see the arousal happening. You can see your vulva opening up like a flower. It's beautiful. And you become connected with that visual image and what you're sensually experiencing. Yes, because vulvas bloom like a flower when you touch them. And it only takes like two to three minutes. It's quite extraordinary. You can visibly see our arousal. Mm -hmm. Colors deepen. Mm -hmm parts start to swell, your inner and outer labia. Sometimes the clitoris moves forward. And when we can see that and recognize it, it's almost like, okay, the body, we understand we can let the body lead yes. because that's what we have to do. We have to shut this off and let the body yes. lead. Yes. Yes. And extending on that, just sensual experiences, being aware of what you like to feel. You know, do you like to feel soft fabrics? Um, you know, scratching of the skin. Uh, do you like to smell uh, candles and, and different scents, flowers? Do you like, what kinds of foods do you like to taste? Do you like chocolate? Do you like salty things? Um, paying attention to your sensual preferences is so important with connecting to your body. 
knowing yourself. I mean, what we're really talking about is self-knowledge. Yeah. You know, to thine own self be true. <laughs> you know, that's why self-pleasure is kind of the, the first step to having good partner sex because I have to know myself. Mm -hmm. I have to know my body. I have to know my preferences. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> when I'm empowered, now I can have great partners. Yes. Yes. And it a great partner sex requires a connection to your body, just like any physical activity, like, you know, playing a sport, running, dancing, um, exercising in some way. All of those ways are other, other means to connect with your body as well. And it's really muscle memory. It's just time and practice. Mm -hmm. There's no like secret sauce here. <laughs> There's no like one technique. Yes. Make time for yourself. Touch your body in a way that is pleasing to you. Look at yourself in a mirror, breathe, move, work your pelvic floor muscle. And the pleasure will come because the body is wired for pleasure. Mm -hmm. This pleasure is a natural state. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, one activity that we often do to relax in our busy world is having a drink or, you know, eating an edible. Drugs and alcohol numb your body, and it makes it more difficult to connect with your body when you're under the influence. It's very true. And research shows that most young women, especially, have intercourse only after three to four drinks. And so we're not present, mm -hmm. right? To put your pleasure first, to be able to communicate to your partner and to be able to do the things that bring you to orgasm, you have to be present in the body. Mm -hmm. So I'm, we're not anti-alcohol. I love a glass of wine, but challenge yourself to have sober pleasure. Yes. It does make orgasm come easier in some ways because it's easier to connect with your body. You're not numbed out to all of those sensual inputs. So pleasure is doing what feels best in every moment and prioritizing your pleasure first is the key. That's how we get into the body. Breathe, touch, move. Put yourself first. And give yourself time. Um, this isn't going to happen overnight. Building skill and being in your body takes time and practice. 